When living in the city, a large portion of the population normally starts work at approximately 9 a.m. and leaves to go home at 5 p.m. This causes traffic on the roads and overcrowding of transit systems during peak hours. A common challenge in large cities has been to decrease the number of cars on the roads. One way to do it is to get more people to use transit. However, transit can sometimes be crowded and can make people feel uncomfortable, especially during COVID. How could we make transit more comfortable for people to use and reduce overcrowding of the transit systems? Keep watching to learn about a possible solution for this challenge. During rush hours, there's too many people on transit. Particularly because of COVID, we want to decrease crowding. One way to decrease crowding is to financially incentivize people to take transit at different times. Therefore, spreading out people by spreading out the time at which they commute. To provide an example of how this may work, let's observe a transit system in Vancouver, Canada. In Vancouver, the transit system is managed by TransLink. TransLink operates a network of buses, trains, and a C-bus, which you can get on using a compass card. Besides being a payment method, the compass cards allow for data to be collected to understand when people are using the buses and to pinpoint the times when they get the most crowded. This allows TransLink to plan for peak times, increasing the frequency of buses based on demand. Envisioning Labs proposed an AI-based solution that won the Metro Vancouver Transportation Innovation Challenge. The idea involved using the data gathered from the compass cards and have artificial intelligence algorithms generate optimal time slots for people to commute. This optimal time slot can then be informed to commuters through a mobile app. If a person chooses to commute using their given optimal time slot a certain number of times per week, they'll get a discount on their next monthly compass card fee. By providing financial incentives for people to take transit in an optimal time slot, we can decrowd transit systems. Employers can participate by encouraging and incentivizing their employees to work remotely half the time and to commute at certain time slots. The more that remote workers participate in this, the more space there will be on transit for people who do not have the choice to work remotely half the time. Thank <laughs> you.